Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Detective Inspector Martin McKechn from the Major Crime Investigation Branch in Sapol. Uh, we're here to talk about the um, suspicious death of 17-month-old baby Ronan Davies. So at about 6 p.m. on Wednesday, the 7th of June this year, Ronan was conveyed to Women's and Children's Hospital. He was in unconscious and in a critical condition. His injuries were not survivable and tragically Ronan died from those injuries on Friday the 9th of June 2023. In the lead up to Ronan being conveyed to the Women's and Children's Hospital, he's being cared for by friends of his parents at an address in Ferguson Street at Glenelg North. When Ronan was returned to his father on the Wednesday afternoon, he was unable to be roused by his father and his father then contacted South Australian Ambulance Service, who attended and conveyed Ronan to the Women's and Children's Hospital, where he was in his, in his unconscious state. So the medical examination of Ronan found that he had critical head injuries and other serious internal injuries. It's our belief that these injuries were caused from an assault, and that the assault occurred sometime on the afternoon of Wednesday the 7th of June, at the Glendale North address. Rona's death has been declared a major crime and his uh, investigation is considered a murder investigation. So we're appealing for anyone that may have knowledge in relation to this matter to contact Crime Stoppers. And that includes anyone that may have seen or heard anything in on Ferguson Street or in that vicinity particularly on the afternoon of Wednesday, the 7th of June. And I'll include anyone that was in that vicinity that may have had dash cam footage or have CCTV uh, in and around Ferguson Street, particularly on Wednesday, the 7th of June, that afternoon, sometime, specifically sometime around about 3 p.m. As you see, we've got some photographs there of Ronan, beautiful little boy. Tragic set of circumstances, and we appeal for anybody to provide any information to us to Crime Stoppers. And we'll have to take questions. Do we know why uh, Ronan was at the friend's home to, to begin with? Yes, he was being cared for by family friends right. on behalf of his parents because they were unable to look after him or it was just an overnight thing that they had somewhere to go, like they were babysat or? Babysat, yeah, sure. for, for two days, sure. yeah, leading up to the Wednesday right. afternoon. So it wasn't a regular thing that he was in care at, at that particular no. point? Okay. No, no, sure. Has anyone been arrested or charged? No, they haven't. Do you Can you describe the nature of the injuries? Yeah. I'll explain that they're head injuries. Um, and that have been the fatal injuries that have ultimately caused Ronan to die. And there are other internal injuries that I won't go into it here now. Do you have any suspects? As with any child murder investigation, they're very complex. So we're not eliminating anybody in relation to the investigation, but we are focusing on events at the Glenelg address, Glenelg North address on the Wednesday afternoon while he's in company with the carers. But again, we can't eliminate anyone at this stage. Anyone that's had contact or cared for a moment um, are being spoken to, but we are, we suspect the injury will cause that one little more on the Wednesday afternoon. Do you have any concern for Ronan leading up to before his death was his care by the government services? Yeah, no, there was no such services involved in Ronan's care or any records or documentation. Um, provided regarding Ronan's care prior to this incident on Wednesday the 7th of June. In terms of who Ronan was being cared for, was it a man and a woman, a couple? Yeah, look, I won't go into specific details and relation like that, but suffice to say, they were friends of Ronan's parents. Well, they had no reason to be concerned that you know of? Leaving, Sorry? Leaving Ronan in their care, there's no concern from the parents? No, that's right. No. Um, yeah, they've left Ronan in their care and uh, there was no obvious concerns in relation to what may occur when that was happening. Were there any concerns or like 
um, alerts made around that area on that day that when he was in the care of the parents? No, and that's part of the appeal today to ascertain to the public whether anyone did see or hear anything. Uh, you'll see a photograph shortly of a pram. So we'll be asking for anyone that may have seen Ronan being pushed in that pram on Tuesday the 6th of June, Wednesday the 7th of June this year, in and around Ferguson Street at Glenelg North. So, um, yeah, we're hoping that might remind someone if they have seen anyone pushing Ronan around that afternoon during those two days. It might didn't provide us any information or that may have been assistance to this investigation. The Do you believe there might have been obvious signs of assault when he was in the pram from, from other people who might have walked past? Yeah, look, we don't, we don't think that those injuries will be that obvious. Uh, when he was returned home to his parents, um, he appeared to be asleep, so we suspect unconscious. So it may not be obvious to anybody who may have seen Ronan that he, there was, you know, that he'd sustained any injuries at all. And in terms of the movement of the pram while they were in, he was in their care, yeah. is there any specifics around that? No, not really. Um, yeah, there's not a specific time we can say that Ronan was being pushed, except for around about 3 p.m. on that Wednesday when we believe it was approximately the time that um, Ronan was taken from Glenelg North to his parents' address. When, when Ronan was returned to his father, and she said he appeared to be asleep, potentially unconscious at that stage, yep. was that when the father alerted police or alerted ambulance straight away, or was there a moment in time? Or Yeah, there was a short moment in time. Um, before the father realised he was unable to rouse Ronan from um, what he thought was him asleep. But he was presented at Women's and Children's Hospital at about 6pm that night. So it is a fairly short, small window of, of um, time he was looking at. And from what the father was told by the friends who were in his care, um, that is Ronan is just having a nap, or is that roughly the, the, the conversation that we understand? That, that's our suspicion, yes, is that Ronan's been returned home, um, apparently asleep. We suspect he'd sustained some injuries prior to that. And is this the, the outfish, or is it for, for everyone looking, is, it, is he wearing something similar to this? You know? uh, that, yeah, look, that's not something I can confirm at the moment. Uh, but we'll make some more information about. You don't know if he was wearing a hat or? Uh, at the time on the Wednesday afternoon, we're, I'm not sure, but we can clar try and clarify that information and release it afterwards. Thanks, everyone. Well, one thing I will say, um, just subject with the investigation, obviously, is that we have been provided an explanation of how Roman's injuries were caused. We're not satisfied as to the truthfulness of that information. And that is certainly subject to our murder investigation now. Can you shed any more light on what that explanation was? No, I can't go into that at the moment. Um, just why to say that we don't think it's accurate. And, and clearly you've interviewed these people at, at the moment? We've spoken to all parties, yes. And that's where the surmise has come that you're not satisfied with what you've heard so far? We're not satisfied with the explanation that's been given to us in respect to how injuries were caused. And is there any more concerns for crimes of this nature, particularly around that area, or would you consider this an outlier? No, we don't suspect this. It's not a random sort of incident. It's a, uh, confined to uh, individuals that we know, um, so there's no issues in relation to that, as far as we're concerned. And there's no concern for any other children in any, anyone's care? No, there's no other children in care of either. Did the... Anyone? Uh, one final one for me, that the uh, carers who had Ronan prior, did they have any um, prior history with police or, or any, any previous contacts unrelating to this? Are they known to police, I should say? Um, look, I won't go into whether they're known to police or anything like that. Uh, there's certainly no um, you know, warnings to other government departments regarding the parties that we're looking at. Thank you. Thank you.